So with an identity, you want to prove that the left-hand side is the same as the right-hand side. So we can say, we can first show that we, which side we're working on, and we always want to work on the more complicated side. So we'll say left-hand side. Now, this tan x, we typically need to change that. So we should know that tan x is the same as sin x over cos x. And so that's going to be sin x over cos x multiplied by sin x plus cos x. And with this, you can think of this as sin x over 1. So that's just going to become sin squared x over cos x plus cos x. We should have an equal sign here and an equal sign here. Now what you should identify is we have a denominator. So we need to get a common denominator because this cos x on the right is currently cos x over 1. And so the lowest common denominator here is going to be cos x. And so our common denominator will be cos x. Remember, we mustn't get rid of that because we don't have an equation. So you have to keep it. And so what we're going to get is this part already has the denominator, so we're not going to do anything with that. So it'll just say sin squared x. But then this part is going to be multiplied by the common denominator. And so that's going to become cos x times cos x. Now cos x times cos x is just cos squared x. And you should know that sin squared x plus cos squared x, let me write that down over here for us, that's always equal to 1. And so what we can have now is 1 over cos x and that's exactly what we wanted. So we can say, therefore, the left-hand side is the same as the right-hand side.